or sploosh. All right. So, so next it's up. Dead, dead. Huh? It's dead, dead. Mm -mm. Or it's just blind. No, no, it fell to the ground. It's it's it's, it's dead? legs curled up. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. The All one right. goblin across the way fires a short bow at Ada. The last target he has. 18. That's enough I to hit. I couldn't have, like, backed down at all. Hmm. Alright, um... Man. So it does two points of damage as the arrow slams into your side. Spider is gone. Xyla, it is your turn. I'm getting that M effer inside of the, of the tower. <laughs> Alright. That mother-father? Yes. <gasps> what? About time. I was about to just say, no. could anyone please, could anyone please send like a sacred dice to oh, to Zyla? Zyla should do a shot for that, right? Yeah, you should do a shot. I will do a a shot of uh, delicious seltzer, uh, which in Euteria is the strongest bubbling right? water there is. All right, yes. so roll me a d20, and I'll. See what we got on the chart here. Twelve. Twelve. It's really pretty. No wonder it rolls twenty. All right. Uh, focus strike. Standard damage, but you can choose to re-roll any damage dice. So I roll damage on it. All right. So that means she can roll and then choose to re-roll. She rolled a one. I rolled a one, so I'm gonna re-roll that. Can't get any worse than that. <laughs> I rolled a one again, guys. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Two points of damage on that. Well, plus uh, his modifier. No, that is with that, his. That, that is. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. This die I have that if you roll a one, it's a stinky poo. <laughs> All right. Uh, so your arrow uh, catches him in the foot, uh, cutting off one of his big toes. It just oh, sort of hangs so over. So I basically so. just pissed him off. It was a critical hit to his toe. <laughs> Wait, but now now he can't run or move quick like that. Like, come on, like we all know True. every toe is crucial. He has to take damage. Um, to he's walking, got right? spider climb and. Uh, <laughs> Whose side are you on? All right. I just learned these Sorry. things, okay? She she's a I'm mage. Very she's a mage. She's taking it all in. She's I've not just gonna sing songs about it later. Intelligence, okay? Hmm. I know what's Wait. happening. Really? Uh, all right, Bergamot, it's your turn. All right, uh, well, I want to use as much of my movement as possible, perhaps in a split turn. I want to, I have learned that it does not matter whether I am close to the arrow slit or not. Uh, <laughs> I learned that a few rounds ago. Uh, I am going to split my movement, get towards the door, next to Xyla and shoot. Uh, I can't, um, have either, has he been hit? There's just one, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, then I am shooting at him with a bolt. 13, 14. All right, um, 14 total. Yes. That misses. All right, I'm making a note of that. All right, Ada, it is your turn. Uh, can I... Oh, and, uh... Um, I can see that goblin from where I am, right? Oh, wait, for the rest of my turn, though, I want to move... Uh, um, uh, sorry, oh, I should have asked this. If I time. split my move, uh, do I have to roll for... Like, if I wanted to enter into the room, um, because the floor is slippery, like, I'm not running or anything. Like do like I just want to move closer into the room to get closer to the door, but still be able to hit that goblin. Sure, you can move in, but you'll have to make a roll because it is slippery as soon as you move in. There's no way to like move slowly with to avoid that, because then I'll just um, stand. The, if you could, you you could move slowly and and not have to roll, but you'd move five feet in, so you'd be just inside the door. Then just put me five feet in. All right. Please. You're gonna roll. First. One square in. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, guaranteed. In without slipping. Just five feet in. Which one is that like? This um, one right can here? I get our game master? Yep, yeah, right there. That's fine. That's perfect. Thank you. All right, so Ada, your turn. Uh, I'll shoot um, wild magic at the gremlin. All right. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, fourteen doesn't hit. No. Yeah. 
Well, no, because hers is uh, range is touch. range touch. That's right. I don't have to actually like. So that does hit. Yeah. Awesome. Four points of damage. Four points. Go, Ada. No. no. Gosh, guys, I need to heal myself. I'm down to like. Good. After all these hits, all right, though, uh, I'm back to like what I was at the, first level. The blast catches it in the chest, and it topples over face first into the... He's down, like yes. dead? He's gone. Yeah, buddy! Go! All right. This is a group thing. Yay! Yeah. All right. so enthusiastic. Let's never do that again. <laughs> uh, with that sort of reaction, I don't why ever want to do that again. Okay, I think now what? doing that a lot. So... So now the thing is, is uh, you guys have been through this tower before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that this door was just latched. So Ada climbs down with her spider climb, lifts up the latch. You guys walk your way in. Um, we're There's even, a staircase. We're even going to say you guys go down the staircase to the second level. You guys search. You don't see anything. These nothing goblins, new. nothing new. And even the trap that's behind the one door that you guys mm -hmm. ignored last time. It's been disabled, so it's the goblins are seeming to be not taking as many precautions. So do um, we search. I mean, we don't find Bergamot's yeah stuff. Like that's what we're here for. So like we search no. every crevice and oh yeah no 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 I, no I'm saying spot. I mean because you got when you go down into the second level, remember it's just the uh, the the like the basement of the tower. So there's nothing like really interesting there um it was only I'm on b2 pulling it. where the um oh. where the archers were what, what happened oh know. it's fine it's the second tower so yeah so i mean you guys aren't seeing anything on there um it's like yeah i, I don't and there's no torch lights yeah sorry it's because the, the players weren't there so yeah um but I'm, I'm just saying uh visually uh theater of the mind uh it you guys have been here before there's nothing new and you guys are just stuck with the trap door that goes deeper down into the dungeon. But we haven't gone deeper down, or no? No, we... that's the trap door. So you guys are dropped. standing at the trap door, you know, on the way down, searching for everything. Besides the one goblin having the crossbow, there's nothing else of Bergamot. This trap door is what Xyla dropped first down. dropped down, and then there was the two archers before mm. the chef. So we know that below this trap door is the bottom level, where we had some trouble. And we that's also where know you were where we all stripped. had trouble. Yeah. We know that from that level there's the kitchen. North of the kitchen is the big room. There's another room northeast of the kitchen and then east directly. I memorized this entire floor plan. I have it all detailed. To the east we even scouted out that there's another room where we saw footprints leading in and out but we never even went in that room. So we know for a fact that there are three rooms leading off of the bottom floor that we have not fully investigated. I feel like I want to um, try to open up the trap door quietly and so we can peek down there and see what's right, down roll, there. Roll a, uh, we'll say stealth, uh, uh, thievery. 17. Nice. Oh. No. 17. That's 19, sorry. 19. 19? Alright, so you open it up, and when you open it up, unlike last time, where uh, you guys had to use jump down, uh, there's actually a ladder set up right there. There's uh, there's torchlight down below, but you don't, do not hear anything. Well, I wanted to, like, kind of peek, like, lay down flat and kind of, like, put my head over and kind of peek well, down. That's, and, let's like, all that's what I'm describing to you right now, yeah. is, like, you see a ladder, she you, you see don't anything. hear anything, you don't see anything. Okay. Remember in the past, when you guys came down, the goblins were up on the ledges, and there's no we way for you to, to drop. there's no way for you to see them by laying yeah. down. Okay, guys, I don't see anything, I don't hear anything, so I think it's maybe safe for us to go down the ladder. Does that sound like a plan? Do we want to, like, maybe, like, uh, like, do you feel so safe that we should go down, or should we, like, throw a little pebble down and see what happens? Um, I think maybe we should try to be quiet and not bring any distractions that are unnecessary. Because if we threw a pebble down and they all came down, they can only come up that ladder one at a time, so we're still safe. Even if they're That's all true. down there, 
we could fire down on them, but they can only come up that ladder one at a time, and the Gorgolug can't. And I have, I don't like that Gorgolug. I'm just saying, let's throw a rock down. Let's make a little noise. Like, is that a bad idea? The Gorgolug loved you, though. Well, he also loved Zyla. What if I will say that Zyla could probably shimmy down the ladder upside down to get a better well, look, but she would have to try to be. Doing. Yeah. Sneaky I as well. I'm just down. asking, it, do we want let's to try and use let's this? Let's tie a rope to you then. So you guys got two choices. You can go Bergamot's route with dropping a rock and seeing if it gets any attention. Because we're safe up on the floor. Or do you want to sneak down, try to sneak down and, and peek out and see? We could all three fire down on whoever comes. Like, we have the advantage. They can't yeah. sneak. They, no one can yeah. sneak up on us at this point. Like, let's make a commotion. Let's draw everyone to that Did spot. Do you think that I could be quiet, like, kind of... What if I take that easy. goblin horn right now and no. blow it Don't so they that. all come? No, that's what we want. We, we have the advantage. When else will we have the advantage? If I blow the horn and they all come right here... But at only least. one okay, at a time okay, can okay. come let's up. Okay, okay, let's just do what Bergamot let's wants to do. Let's drop some pebbles let's first. Just drop let's barricade the door right there. from behind. <laughs> because if there's spiders or other things like that, let's the, barricade the door. The door on the floor we're on? <laughs> yeah. That's so a great the idea. Door, let's do so that. So if anything else is coming from that end. So we are safe on this floor. Okay, so you guys can take the barrels that are there and barricade the door behind That's a good you. idea, Ada. Um... All right, and then what do you guys do next? Just maybe drop a thing. Down. I wanna. Do you wanna roll a barrel down or drop like? I wanna I like. Think. It looks I wanna like, like some scrap. You I know? wanna like climb down the ladder backwards and then just not backwards, but like upside down and kind of toss something so I can like kind of see if there's anything that's coming. Uh, Zyla, before you do that, I think that's a good idea, and I just want to say this one more time as Bergamot. I think that. If I, no matter what, if I blow this horn, we know, we know, a hundred percent, they will come. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll so, be, we'll be getting but we'll all use that, the goblins. Right, but everywhere. we'll use that as a if we realize that this is to our advantage. Yeah. Oh, and let's also be ready to pull that ladder up. Yeah. So that they can't well, come up. I agree up. with that. Or like pull our main the ladder up now. Goal in here is to maybe try well, to be as quiet as possible. I still yeah, think like that our best advantage, for all, we know, to us. for all we know, if we pull that ladder up, they can't get yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna floor. I'm gonna lean down and I'm gonna I'm gonna lean. Oh down wait! Before you throw. before you guys decide to pull up the ladder and all that, everyone roll, roll initiative. Knowledge, knowledge check. Can I roll knowledge plus bardic knowledge? Twelve. Uh, your knowledge check does include like whatever bonuses you get from bardic knowledge. Twelve. 12. Okay. Wait, do I do, um... Just add your knowledge bonus from, from skills. skills. Okay. I got 19. 19? Alright. My, my bardic knowledge is 7. 7? Alright, so Xyla, when you got... Or, Zyla, Ada, when you guys think about pulling up the ladder, uh, you remember, hey guys, wait, these are goblins that can climb on the walls and ceilings. Yeah. So guys. this isn't going to stop them from it's getting It's going to slow them down! All right. Okay, yeah, well, but I'm, I am leaning yeah, down. Yeah, here's the thing, I'm guys. I'm going down, and I'm going to Leave go. the ladder down, because if the ladder's down, they're in sight. And if they're going up the ladder instead of the walls, yeah. it's, we're that's better off. That's good. So I like that. Gonna, I'm going to climb down, and I'm going to throw something. How far see, down? Like halfway? I'm climbing halfway down. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to throw a rock. That All I right, so up. first roll awareness. plus zero for 14. 14. So when you come half down, you're about to throw the rock, you notice that there's nothing on the ledges and there's no goblins as far as you can see down any of the hallways. Okay. Guys, I really Dang don't it. see anything. I don't think we need to throw any rocks. Okay. Remember how I and you both almost died last time we were on this floor? Yeah. I remember. Let's not just go. jump to conclusions. I'm going to go down and kind of check it out. Um, because I can run back up the ladder if I see something coming. Okay, don't trip and fall. So, I'm, I'm going to go down the rest of the way. I'm already halfway down. 
and walk around in there. Alright. So, Zyla <laughs> sneaks down the ladder and uh, you see... Looks familiar. Yes. Um, the doorway to your left into the into the kitchen is open. Uh, off to the east, the path uh, leads off, and that's the one that smelled really bad. Uh, the path and there's to the a north, lot of footprints to the east, right? That's yes. What we learned. Um, and then the pathway up north leads right to a metal door, and you can see torchlight. And there's nothing in all directions, though you do also notice that there is um, sort of a slime trail coming out of the kitchen and then going up the hallway. The, word, the hallway that smells bad? No, up the northern hallway. If there was a way for me to communicate with you, Zyla, I would tell you that that northernmost corridor connects to you the big room. should probably come down, guys. No, I, I want to stay I, I'm it's gonna, safe. I I'm feel gonna like come down. We, we need to be cautious. But There's nothing there, Ann. We know that there are enough things down on this floor to kill all of us. We have been on this floor. Why are we, like, rushing in again? Like, let's not make the same mistake twice, please. Why not have Fine, the advantage? Fine, let's go up and roll a barrel down there, one of the big rocks in that room, and then see what happens. And if it happens, it happens. Or if I blow the horn, we know they will come. Blowing the horn will tell them to blow all the other horns. And start, start the signals. So... We haven't been down the stink, stinky area, or the up hall, like the one up to the north. This All right, so Bergamot, Bergamot is whispering down to you, Zyla, come back up. We come do back not up. Let's need make a... one person to initiate a horde while the rest of All us right. can't so even Zyla, see it. So Zyla, what do you do? Do you go back up? Um. Yeah, I mean, I can go back up and tell them that I think the coast is clear, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. All right. All right, so you're going to blow one more? All right, so you guys pop. Zyla comes back up. You guys have, you're barricaded in. Tell me what you do. We're I want to say one job. more time. I do really job. feel like... Well, don't whisper it. Tell me as Ada that you think that's a good idea. Go ahead and blow the horn. That's a good idea. I mean, I don't think that's the best idea, only because we don't want to draw people that are outside of the tower better into off the being tower. Sneaky, but if you want to try this... Because, I'm I mean, fairly like, certain that we are two stories down. If we blow this horn, no one outside the tower is going to hear it. We are literally... At, no, think about it. Like, I, I documented each floor. All right. We are it, two let's do it. stories underground. Come on, let's do it. Okay, well, I mean, what about if you yelled instead of blew the horn? Like, because the horn is pretty loud, but, like, what if you yelled and said hello or something like that? They just don't blow speak the horn, my okay? Just, well, just they don't, the but they would, hear, they would hear a noise that they don't recognize. It's not familiar to them, so they would probably come to investigate if it was something that didn't seem right. All right. I, I, I see both sides. Um, my thoughts are... We want them to come, but we don't want them to come with weapons necessarily, like, we want them to come running, but we want them to come to be like, what, what, what? So either dropping a barrel or blowing the horn. To me, those are the things, because right. they will be okay. funneled and we have I, the advantage. I feel more it. comfortable with the barrel idea than the horn idea. All right. Who wants to kick the barrel down the hole? I think it should be all you. All right. I have a really big foot with two giant hoof toes. I want to kick the heaviest barrel I can find. Not the heaviest, because we need that for the door. That's not being used to barricade the door. All right. I want to take the heaviest barrel that I can find that maybe even like has like you know like little bits of loose metal that'll make a clangy like tink 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 sound. Like, I want a distraction, not necessarily bad, but I want a distraction. Do I need to roll? What do I need to do? I you don't have to do anything, so you grab a barrel, 
and you roll it down and it hits a couple rungs on the ladder and it hits the bottom and cracks open and makes a lot of ruckus. And you guys hear it echo for a minute and you don't hear anything else and there's like some really tense moments as you guys are waiting. I like it. It's tense. Um, and uh, you guys have all your hands We're on your clenching. weapons. Uh, I guess except for Ada, she has her hand out because that is her weapon. Uh, and uh, well, I've got a um, but then uh, you guys hear noises and you guys see uh, the giant slug creature slither into view and then slide by and then its larger goblin handler walks out looking up at you and he's holding a big familiar shield and wearing scale mail and he looks up at you and he starts shouting in something you can't hear and banging his sword against the shield um, and I would say let's roll initiative. Do I still have a free action? Um, no, I mean they knew we were there. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm just trying to think of it, if I can like spit on him or something. Yes, you can. You can spit on him if you want to. Um, I want to. Uh... All right. Wanna... Since we had the advantage, don't we get some kind of like? No, he knows Initial. we're there. We don't get. There is advantage. no advantage when you lure. Like advantage is if they're caught flat-footed. Oh, okay. Making loud so noise is not yeah. catching okay. him flat-footed. Um, wait, what is the, um, what is that goblin wearing? That, that, your, that one? Your armor. Uh, like, all, like, does he have a hat or anything? Nope. Okay. He already rolled, so I'm done. Well, no, I'm just rolling initiative. I mean, you can tell me something that you do uh, with flavor. He, like, um, like, I, I'm trying to think, like, what does he, like, what is he, he has my scale mail. Um, he has... Okay, so, so he all moves right. out of the way at this point, as you're trying to decide what okay. you're going to do. Right. Okay. <laughs> to, okay. Um. So, uh, what we need to do is, all right, uh, what did you guys roll? Ada. Eight. Eight. Zyla. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen oh. for me. Nineteen for Bergamot. We are on this. Oh, I add, oh, I yeah, add you that. Yeah, you add that. Oh, shoot. Wait, for what? Twenty-one. Oh, no, I don't have that. Twenty-one. Twenty-one for Zyla. No. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't have that. All right, so um, you see him for just a moment, and then he moves out of the way as you see Bergamot, like, maybe almost spit, and then, like, look at his armor, and then pull out his sword, and you're like, oh, Bergamot is really pissed that he's got my stuff, but he doesn't know what to do with it. That should um, get Bergamot in And advantage. you guys get ready, and it's dead silence, and nothing happens. All right. Yet another shot. Another? Oh my gosh, it's oh full again. <laughs> Magic. Uh, How to right. fill your liver in ten sessions. <laughs> Not that many. Alright, so... <laughs> so you guys have uh, raised awareness with the goblins, and then there is silence. Mm -hmm. Um... And you guys wait for what is an agonizing amount of time. And then finally you see a goblin sort of wander somewhat into view and he has a bow drawn uh, and he fires at you guys. Wait, would not um, we be more prepared than him? But he, well, I, I'm just, I'm setting the stage. This is not actually to, <clears throat> like, uh, you guys, like, sort of a lot of things happen at once. So he comes forward and sort of shoots, but it's just a distraction. It's not like he's not e even able, um, it, it'd be like him firing over a barrel at you guys. Like, like he's like just running and shooting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then also, uh, and I mean, you know, when I say the time is dragged on, it's probably been like, you know, five, 10 minutes of you guys <laughs> just waiting. Uh, when that ran out, and it's almost like shocking when he shows up, um, and then you hear some stuff at the door behind you, and something like trying to uh, open it up. Um, but now it goes into your guys' uh, uh, initiative. So Zyla, uh, there's the one that you know below, and now somehow something's behind you guys trying to get in the door. Pull the ladder up. 
Um, right now, baby. I... Am I strong enough to do that? We'll help. Um, well, I'm going to first shoot my short bow at the one that... So did it... The one that, like, popped You would out. not be able to... Like, I mean, he just, like, came in, fired, and then he's back out of sight. You'd have to go down the ladder to Don't see Don't even him. worry about So the him. one that um, walked away is too far gone from... All of them. They're all staying out of your range, yes. Okay. Um, I think... Okay, I, we could pull the ladder up for now and shut the trap door. Or... Leave you don't even have to close it. Let's just pull the um, ladder up. That's and a secondary action we don't need to take. See if the and there's a door, one's banging on the door. There's something there's making something noise at the door, at the door behind you. There are three of us in this yeah. room. We can take whatever is banging on that door um, as a group. I would feel comfortable for now, like pulling the ladder up and shutting the trap door just for now so that no arrows can like reach us. Let's even randomly. put a barrel on top of the trap door. And then um, are, are you guys comfortable with me opening the door? So long as we put a barrel or something on top of that door, I am okay with fighting whatever's on the other side of that door. Okay. I am ready. So let's barricade the trap door. I'm ready. Let's do it. We barricade the trap door. We're the ladder this. is on our side. Yes. Let's wedge and the ladder. I am going to be behind the door so that when I open it, like, they might get engaged in combat, but, like, Let's I might be able ourselves. to flank the goblin. Zyla, like, where, would you like our, where would you like yourself? Let's let's put ourselves in position. This is our, our moment. Let's, let's, let's destroy whatever's behind that door. I'm going to be behind, the, so, like, when I open the door, I'm going to be, like, behind, like, shielding myself with the door, basically, when I open it. Because it opens in towards us, right? Or does it open? Um... Out. No, it actually opened out. Because remember, Damn there's a, a tripwire trap last time you guys came, but you guys have barred it from the okay. inside. But that gives us the advantage. That means they have to open the door towards them. That's our advantage. All right, so you guys position yourselves and then tell me what you want to do. Uh, I'm, I guess in that case, if it opens that direction, I'm going to unlock it and then run back and towards them. I would love and have my bow ready. I would love to inspire right. some courage if given a chance. Alright, so um Bergamot starts seeing Am I able to so, like use like heal myself or do I have to wait till we're actually Yeah, in you can combat? do that before we No, you could have done that before combat. Can I so, heal so, yeah, myself? We'll say that you did that while prepping for this, so you lose a mana and then roll a D eight. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're using your second of five mana? So I gain five points of uh, hit points. Five points back. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So uh, Wait, you you open it up. Xyla's in the back. Oh, um, um, Bergamot. While she there. did that, can I? Um, oh well. Yeah. Roll. A, yeah. If you you now have spell sight, so roll that, and you're going to have to roll fifteen plus one, so you have to roll sixteen. What is a critical fail? Uh, you just definitely don't learn it. So you, I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> you hear her casting the spell and you spin around so quick to check it out that you spin around and drop your crossbow and you're like, no! Oh! Um, so, alright, you guys are positioned like that mm -hmm. and the door uh, busts open and you see two goblins standing there. But I was already singing, uh, right? You were already singing, oh, she already... Right. We got our bonus what? back. Let me roll. So that was seven and ten. Seven and ten for the goblins. Um, so first up is Xyla. So Xyla, uh, you can. Oh, let me change over and get rid of the uh, dynamic lighting there. All right. So you can see. Um, Two goblins peeking through. Oh, um, but the door is wide open. Yeah, they yeah, towards I'm, them. They yeah. pulled open the door and they're right there. I'm shooting at the first one I see. All right, roll attack. All right. And remember, you get my bonus. 
14. 14. Um, your arrow uh, flies right over their heads. Yeah, they're like 15. Uh, Bergamot, what do you do? Uh, I am going to uh, fire... I want to fire a crossbow at uh, the goblin that just fired at Xyla. Fire a bolt or a crossbow? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, right, I'm right, going like, to I'm gonna, like, do a overhand throwing. Uh, that does not hit. All right, another arrow slams in the barrels next to you. The front goblin takes a shot at Bergamot with a short bow. But I can still run. I have an action left, right? Oh yeah, you can run somewhere in that tiny room. Where well, you I just, I, I, I where just you wanna like, where um, do we, oh wait, could I do a quick um, bardic knowledge check to maybe, uh, is there a way that I could learn their range of their fire? They could fire anywhere in this room, even if it was three times as big. Okay, well then... <laughs> it's a um, short bow. Then it really doesn't matter if I run or not, right? I would move, like, up over here. Uh, no, those are barrels. Those barrels are on top of the thing now. Well, as as Bergamot's, like, doing this, like, yeah, oh, I'm like oh, oh, where do yeah, I go? Whatever. The arrow flies by and misses right. him. Okay. All right, yep. All right Ada, next. All right, Wild Magic at, I guess, whichever one. The one in the lead? Yeah, whichever one's in the lead. You're down I don't hit. All right, uh, you blast another like these barrels that are by the door. You guys are just like destroying them. It's like you know, screw these barrels, but you are not hitting the goblins. More um, this one runs in, pulling out its blade, ah. and swing it at Ada. Seven and misses. Zyla, it is your turn. I'm shooting up, shooting the same one with my short bow. All right. The one that's attacking me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 18. Uh -huh. mm, that hits. Roll damage. Get your bonus. Five. Five. All right. Um, the arrow slams into its chest <laughs> and it falls down. So isn't that that's his? Oh, okay. got it. So it falls down to one knee, awesome. uh, but it's still, uh, it's still up and going. Bergamot, it's your turn. So you got a goblin right to your left that's fighting Ada with the sword, or the one outside the door. All right. So the one that, the one fighting Ada is badly hurt. That one. So my question is, if I charge with a dagger, could I still shoot after? No, but an attack is an attack. Okay, I still charge. Like, I am, because I'm so close, my thought is I am just using my weight, even though I don't have, uh, I'm, my armor is made of stupid wood, and I'm, like, Pop still there. half naked, because parts of me are still yeah, showing, Pop by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, we did a wood check. Part of it is poplar. Got it. Um, but some of it is that honey locust. Remember, we oh. did a check for that, which actually it works in his favor because honey locust is very sharp and dirty. But yeah, I am just charging, and my hope is that my gauntlets maybe are honey locust, so that even though like I'm sticking a dagger, maybe I have some honey locust. Nope, don't hit. <laughs> and right. now you're but right so into now it. I'm like right next to him. So but, so, so I Bergamot still, just but runs. I can, I can run away still, right? <laughs> shouting, you could. You're running, shouting. Your your gauntlets are out there. Your daggers out there. You run right past the goblin and just stick the sword right into a barrel, and then these uh, poor barrels. Yes, like, uh, you. Why do you guys hate these barrels? barrels so much? But so with my remaining moves, can I at least move out of his? targeted range for for melee like I have what two or three spaces left I can move I just don't want him to be able to slash at me well he's facing towards Ada right now so I'm oh well then I stay there and flank him plus also though you 
there's another You're the problem. one that, that could take the most hits, so you probably no, do actually, be... No, actually, I stay there because uh, this might be one of the very first times in this gameplay. Um, does that give a, uh, Zyla a... Oh, no, that's Ada. Um, I was thinking if I'm next to that Grand Bombolin, that gives a uh, rogue uh, flanking damage, but no. Yeah, no, if you're right there and then Zyla moves up, she could use flanking. Does flanking uh, work for everyone? No, no, only for just rogues. rogues. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, uh, but I'll still stay there so that uh, both Ada and I can. Um, so next up, the one goblin in the door uh, moves forward and pulls out his blade, and now he's flanking Bergamot, Got and it. he swings his blade and misses. You feel something raking across the wood and the uh, the sleeping bag like, on your back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ada, you are up next. The reverse I'm going Neo. to shoot wild magic at the one down on its knee in front of me. All right. Oh, and by the way, that was one more turn of mine. But you're still singing, right? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I am still. I can continue singing. Yeah, yep. you're right. Thank All right, you. what did you roll, Ada? Uh, 13. 13. That hits. Oh, yeah. Yep, for, uh, for range four. touch. Five. All right. Um, focusing some of your anger that you've had in this place between healing your friends constantly and seeing them hurt. This freaking place. You you push your hand forward. Did you use that? And your. Why did I use that? Oh, it was a higher hit point. So you're. It, it you blast. You roll this. Sorry. You, you put your hand forward and you blast him right in the face and he does a backflip and lands on his back. Smoke rising from him, and he is no longer moving. Yeah. Smokey. Oh, you used wild magic? Yeah. Oh, sorry. There's I thought you were using, um, the, no. uh, you gave that to me. So you next don't have up. Anymore. I don't. Sorry, sorry. Next up is Xyla. All right, so Xyla, what do you want to do? There's the, the one <laughs> goblin's down. The other one is attacking Bergamot from behind. I'm going to get the one attacking Bergamot from behind. All right, what do you want to do? Um... I want to, well, can I, is there any way I can sneak attack it? No. Okay. But well, if you couldn't get help past you, him. If we were to help you flank it on the next round. You'd have to get past him. Right. Like gonna, he's in a doorway, so. I'm going right. to shoot with my short bow. Okay. And I miss. All right. Uh, you Take shoot another, die out of there. another barrel. All right, Bergamot, the guy behind you just raked across your wooden armor. Um, well, uh, I'm, uh, well, I'll shoot him with the crossbow again. I got nothing else to lose. Yeah, there's just one. Oh, yeah, that's totally destroyed him. 19. 19? That hits. All right, roll damage. One d eight. I know. I. Oh my gosh! I haven't rolled a d eight yet. Oh, it's right here. You haven't actually Three. hit anything. Three. Three is that with your? Uh, yeah. Added? I rolled a two plus one. All right. So, your carapace blade is stuck in the barrel. So you let go of it. Pull out your crossbow and turn around and blast him in the chest for three points of damage. But he is still standing. Yeah, but that hurt him a lot. That's about half his points. All right, and he swings his blade right at your face. 19. Ah, goodness. And it does. Oh, I dropped my D4. Automatic one. And it does ooh, six points of damage oh. as it slices, breaking off and some of the dices. poplar and some of the honey locust across your chest. Ooh. How does it smell? Like kind of woody? Tree killer. <clears throat> six points. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. He's the one that broke down the trees to make the armor. <laughs> I know. Tree killer. Damn you, Goblin, for, for killing the trees that were already dead and strapped to our companion. Bergamot only and shows Bendel. 
pre-felled or pre-diseased trees. He is Are one you, with the environment. <laughs> but do you even see that as your bedroll anymore, Zyla? Because, I mean, his stuff is just rubbing all on the inside of your bedroll. I know, your water <laughs> like, skin. No, no, it's Ada's water skin. I'm just going like, to take it off oh, his body. This stuff is just like... going to be retired. Uh, <laughs> wait, what did you no. just do? What? Wait, 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 a side story for this, <laughs> this is going like, <laughs> all right, I'll wait, once again, every right, couple right. episodes, I have to have one of those Cinemax <laughs> moments where I say, okay, we got to stop this, we move on past it, not oh, talk about it again. Oh, still in the middle of combat, guys, can't talk about it. Who's shame, shame on you? Shame on you. <laughs> shame on you for smelling my Skinemax. Oh. My wine skin of Max. <laughs> All right. All right. Whose turn is it? Oh, yeah, there is that uh, <laughs> water. I don't know. <laughs> I am so distracted by this that I've lost track of whose turn it was. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. I think we're at all right. that point. No, it is Ada's turn. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, Ada. Okay, wild magic at the one behind. Or I'm going to take a step over so that I'm more in the path. Sure. Of, okay. Um. Uh, like less likely to hit Mark <laughs> this thing over there, and then really? wild magic. Woo! Uh, eighteen. All right, that hits. Okay. Despite all the madness that's happening around you, Zyla describing how she's gonna sniff <laughs> the wooden armor. Four points of damage. Four points of damage. Once again, uh, just blasting enemies and not caring. Your prismatic bolt blasts out and hits it in, in the face and it flies back into the stairwell and then slides down the wall and Dead. doesn't move anymore. Yeah, take that, Grimlock. But just about that time, you hear the door with the barrel, the trap door, start to go goom, 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 as someone is trying to push their way up. Well, you know what? What do you guys do? We're ready for them now. Um, let's, yes, let's at least, I'm gonna go do awareness to check in that area, that next room. Tell us what you're doing so we can help. I'm, guys, I'm doing awareness. I'm gonna check and see if there's anything else coming from that side. Can we all do it? Wouldn't that help? Well, okay, well so Ada runs out and she looks, um, the door is open, uh, unlike it says on the map. Yeah. And, uh, and you can see the hole and there's nothing else coming through okay. that other room. All right, is there any way that we can like semi, uh, okay, well, can we can re the door. Ooh, wait, hold on, I lost control. So that, go is that one goblin still alive? I didn't want to move no, all no, the way. No, they're all dead. Oh, they're all dead. Okay. Uh, let's search them, let's search I them. I don't want to move all the way over. Before, before, like I want to be like there. Before we move on, um, let's search them. Let's take arrows, let's take weapons. I have nothing. Okay. They have arrows. Each of them has arrows, each of them has a short bow, and each of them has a carapace blade. I can use anything we find. Okay, we'll I grab whatever you like need. A, like a dagger. Okay. They um, don't have daggers. Oh, what's the carapace blade? It's just a little short sword. It's the same oh, as your short okay. sword. Um, Is a carapace blade but, better than the uh, insect dagger that no, I No, that's what you, it's the exact same thing. Okay. The carapace blade. Um, um, then do I pick up any short bow rounds? Sure, yeah, there's lots of arrows. How okay. many? Uh, I need uh, to know because I'm, one, I'm let's really say limited right 12. Now. Okay, thank you. Um, so, are we able to, like, maybe pull the pull the barrels and off have, like, the trap door? Of and, you like, want six? I'll take six. Throw okay. them yeah. in Just write six of the and I'll write six. Other door? Like, rebarricated that, this, like. Yeah, you could rebarricade the other door. In fact, there's stuff in front of it. Door. Oh, that door there? Yeah, re sure. that and then open up the, um... The, the trap door? Trap door, yeah. Alright, um, yeah, you can do that. Alright, so the door behind us is... But the ladder is still now level, right? Yes. yes. Cool, we're right. good. So let's open so, up the trap door. Who's got more hit points? Me! I've got 14, still yeah. 11. Oh, I'm at, like, uh... Well, 10. We can fight her, come on. Okay. I wasn't, but now I am. So you're I, at 14, you said? Yeah, so I'm so going to be a little bit closer. Zyla, I guess you'll be behind us. Yep. And Bergamot. Who's calling the, the lead? Are we firing down the hole, or are we 
I think we should Let's just, just bust it open open it up and move back and see if anything comes up to us. Wait, just to clarify, when we just heard a pounding at the door, was it a pounding at this door or the pounding at the trap door? Pounding at the trap door. door. Oh, okay, okay. They then might have found another ladder, guys. Then let's, let's just be prepared focus. that they maybe found, they went and got a ladder from storage. Or they, they climbed maybe. walls, remember? Yeah, they climbed walls. Then yeah. we also <laughs> All right, have, let's just flip it open. We okay. have the advantage. We can put weights on the door to where they can't even lift it. If one of them is like, like think let's about it like this. Let's just open it and go for it. Can I? Yeah. All right. If one of, if one of them is using its turn to lift a door, that's using its turn, which means we can shoot at it. If we take the weight off the door, then they can just pop it open and come up. Let's leave something heavy on the door if we Would want the like advantage. Would you like to stand on the door? I'm pretty heavy, but they could kick me off, and then that would hurt me. I mean, you guys, there's plenty of junk in this room that you okay. can pile up on well, top of the door. Let's, do that. let's keep the advantage. Right. So you guys pile stuff up on top of the door, and then uh, it stops being uh, shaken, and it goes dead silent again. Not a freaking if there was just enough stuff on the door where we had the advantage to where we could lift it and fire and drop it. They can't overdo that. They literally can't. Okay. So now what? So now we think that they're probably trying to find another way into our room. We have the advantage. Um, let's so wait it out. Wait let's it wait it out. Yeah, let's, if they and come. let's let's lift the door and shoot and drop it again. Let's okay. Let's be proactive. Let's open the door. See if we see anything. If we do shoot, if All right, not, if you it. you crack the little trap door, right? You're talking yeah. about the yeah. trap door. And there's nothing below there. God damn it. Okay, we have to assume that they are going to come up somehow and come around into one of these other, this other door. That's why I re-barricaded that so, one. As you guys are waiting, and once again there's silence, and you guys are looking underneath, and then you start to smell something. Something's smoke. on fire. Oh no, there's smoke in us out. 